So, welcome to this new video. In this video, we're hopefully going to finish this rear wing, active arrow rear wing. So that means we have to build the mechanism and we have to complete the wiring uh, scheme. Uh, it's quite late already, so I won't be making a lot of noise, but I already prepared this part. This is the electric motor, this is the push rod. Uh, as you might've seen on my Instagram, your username is right there. I want this at the top of the wing. So it would pull the wing over. So yeah, if it, the motor, uh, motor was activated, it would put, pull the wing over, like just like that. But that didn't really work, unfortunately, on my cat drawings. So I have to do something else. So as you can see, the electric motor is over there. There it is, electric motor. And the push rod is over here. Yeah, probably it's going to stay there between the sprocket and the rear brake discs. Um, I don't think I have a problem with the clearances and I, as long as I, yeah, keep the cables really close to the tubing, I think everything will be fine. And the push rod is over here and will be mounted underneath the wing, as probably some of you guys uh, have seen on Instagram. I want this ring on, wing on top of it because this is really strong and it would be pulled over just like, yeah, so the the pull yeah the rod would be pulling pulling the wing over i think that was it looks nice uh works best but it didn't unfortunately find out with my cut drawings so what i'm going to do now is get this under here and then as the, ex as the motor activates the wing would yeah just be pushed over instead of pulled over uh so yeah that's it and what we're going to do is install this rear brake light. I of course have the dust light already, but I wanted the brake light as well. Probably we'll mounted somewhere in here, somewhere just like that. Go do that as well. So yeah, let's get started. The next day. So the first step is to make a piece of steel plate over here. And I will be welding these triangles. Will be welded on there. So it can stick onto that. And the plate can just uh, yeah, be screwed into the epoxy layer. So that's the first step. So this is the plate I'm using. This is five millimeters thick steel. And this is the plate I'm going to cut out. It's 11 centimeters by seven centimeters. And this is the place where both of those mounting eyes will get welded on. Uh, I, will, I will drill four holes in each corner so it can, it can be easily bolted up to the wing. Let's get cutting. So these are the plates I cut out. Uh, this is the base plate, like I showed before. I cut these as well. They go on here, both of them. Because I think this is just not doing it. It's three millimeters thick. Uh, this is very thin, so you can throw this away. Yeah, I know this welding setup looks shit, but I don't have a welding table, so. I just have to deal with it. Right, there you go. This is the finished piece. These welds don't look too bad. I know I have to get the, the top of it because there's a yeah, protecting layer. Don't know the English word to be honest, but not really a problem. Um, yeah, I really, I'm, done. I'm not a welder. I don't have the education to be a welder later, but these welds don't look too bad. Um, yeah. I mean, come on, it's not too bad. That's, maybe that's the charm of building a cool buggy, literally a storage box, because I do everything on a budget and then you have to deal with things like this. But I don't think it's too bad. So the electric motor is installed, actually quite sturdy. I'm giving it a lot of power and force now, but it will move. And that's exactly what we're looking for. So now I can install the push rod uh, I can install the mount on the wing, connect them both to the wiring, and yeah, let's do that. So, since we welded that part, it's now time to install the electric motor. And I showed you, for me, it's yesterday, I showed you a few minutes ago where it will be mounted. It will be mounted somewhere around here. I have to see if I can get the correct angle on there. And to be honest, I think it, of course, has three mounting holes. I think two is enough, to be honest. Um, yeah, I got a tap on each side of this hole. 
of these holes and weld onto the steel. And if I take a look at this, I probably think it's enough. So let's get these, well these steps. Let's make these steps, get them mounted, weld it in, and we're done. So this is how the electric engine will be mounted in the back. It's like I said, between the sprocket and the rear brake disc. Um, yeah, I tested it. I have literally no problems with the clearance. Something fell off, all right. Probably not important. Uh, this bolt will clear that bolt. I know it doesn't look like it on camera, but I've tested it before. This is where the push rod comes to, connects to the rear wing. So I'm going to weld these plates in and then we might connect it and do the wiring. Right, since the electric motor is in, it's time to do the wiring. This is the wiring sh scheme I came up with. Uh, so yeah, if you want to copy it, just pause it or take a screenshot or anything. Uh, I'm going to start now and I'll be back when it's installed. So to attach this bracket to the wing, I uh, drilled these holes, I countersunk them so I can get these screws in the storage worker yeah just advise these for this type of job you didn't know something else that would work so we're using these ones and this Bison Polymax High Tech Express some kind of sealant go to make a stripe over there and just paste it onto the wing screw them and then I hope these be these pieces will stay connected so let's do that and i'll be back when i've done that okay the bracket is screwed into the wing we are screwed you can see with the four screws and the sealant so for now we let the sealant no 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 we're not going to let the sealant dry i have the switch over here somewhere where is it there it is switch over here and now let's see what will happen when i press this will switch and now I'm going to release it this is I won't swear this is great yeah exactly what I want this is quite cool right very cool right to finish this project I need to do a few more things First, I have to clean up this wiring because this looks like a mess. Uh, second, I have to connect this to the brake pedal. Let's switch to the brake pedal. So if I press the brake pedal, the switch gets activated and then the wing goes up. Right, I have to do that. Um, and I have to ground these two. They are grounded now, but this just looks ugly and will, yeah brake sooner than later and I have to do the brake light because I have a brake light I want the brake light there it is brake light as we mounted somewhere in here but yeah it's getting quite dark already between in now and 10 minutes it is dark um, I have to clean up everything I have to drive the buggy back in but if you want to see how I install this brake light let me know I can make a video about it i can make a short about it anything but the wiring task just seems boring so i won't f film those but i can film this if you guys want to there you go uh and in general if anybody has some ideas or want to see anything let me know this is a buggy and i kind of want to do a lot about it because it's, it's just awesome and it will get even more awesome awesome more awesome so if you have any ideas or you want to see anything let me know in the comments like and subscribe to my channel like this video comment about the wing do something anything well guys cheers and i see you in the next one bye